Hey, James here from Raisley, and why don't you watch and listen as I have a chat with Tom Maitland, Raisley CEO, around two really exciting things that are happening in the world of Raisley at the moment. This one is sure to spark your interest, so enjoy. Hey, Tom, thank you so much for jumping on with some chats with Raisley. It's great to see you again. We're going to have a bit of a chat about a bunch of stuff today, which I thought would be really of great value because we've got two exciting things that have been happening with Raisley at the moment and one sort of very, very shortly to come. Um, and I thought we'll jump on and have a bit of a chat about those things. But maybe for those who haven't met you, do not know you, don't know your story, could you just introduce yourself, tell us who you are, what's your role at Raisley, and maybe something you, you have exciting going on at the moment. Sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm Tom. It's great to be on. Um, my second chat with Raisley, I think it is. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Raisley here. So I lead the team. Um, prior to that, I was uh, the head of digital at a company called Agency. Agency turned into Raisley. So I've been working on non-profit tech, design, development, uh, campaign communication for a better part of 10 years now um, in those kind of roles. Something exciting that is going on for me you really put me on the spot with that one um because i feel like it's 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 the things that we're going to talk about it's 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 ticketing yeah yeah it's exciting yeah so as i said we have two things going on so we might like leave a little bit of a secret as to the the second thing we'll talk about sorry to be the spoiler no i love that as you mentioned what's making you exciting is ticketing all right Tell us what's, what was the problem behind this solution? What's Raisley doing about it? What are the, what's the problem that we've been looking to solve? Yeah. So when you think about fundraising for charities, uh, the way I think about it is you have a few pillars. And those pillars are um, individual giving and regular giving. So you've got appeals and regular giving programs. Now, you might want to separate those two pillars. That's, that's, there's probably an argument to be made there. You've got regular giving. You've got individual giving. You've got community fundraising, which includes your peer-to-peer campaigns. And then you've got events. And Raisley for a long time has covered uh, individual giving and online fundraising because when we started, we saw that that was the, the, the biggest opportunity for us to improve where, sure, events were happening. They were happening fairly well. Um, peer-to-peer was only starting to emerge and that, that, was, that was obviously a big area of growth for charities. Um, but charities were not doing a good job of accepting money online and it was because the technology was too hard. And so we really focused on that pillar to start with to make sure that charities could take donations online and experience their donors loved that helped build the brand recognition and the relationship with those charities that gave the charities the data so that they could nurture their donors over over time. And eventually I definitely see a future where online giving is the major source of revenue for charities. But we hadn't really tackled events we obviously tackled peer-to-peer peer-to-peer is a great way to mobilize a community of supporters both for like evergreen peer-to-peer campaigns like we call community hubs um through to signature peer-to-peer events so they might be virtual fun rate like virtual exercise activities so I might do a marathon or a swim or they might be challenges i'm going to dye my hair i'm going to yep. uh, eat on rations for a week events have, has always been this one that we haven't really addressed And uh, I think events has also been fairly stagnant um, throughout that period. So people run events, they might run a -a walkathon or a community day, they might run a gala. Um, During COVID, a lot of those had to go online. And that was a big change. And I think a really rough change for a lot of folks. I've definitely heard that event revenue is down during COVID. I just, you can't replace a gala dinner with a live stream. Um, You can try. (laughs) You can try. (laughs) It's just not the same. Yeah. I mean, it's just like you you go to that for the experience. Um, but also it's time for us to get out into our communities again as it is safe to do so in different yeah. places. And uh, that is an opportunity for us to start to rethink and uh, change what event fundraising looks like and how we can combine it with online fundraising and all of the other good tech that we've got going on. So I think it's time to start evolving event fundraising. And that's why we started to look at ticketing, because when you look at the Raisley platform, um, how you facilitate event fundraising is often through selling a ticket. And that was a big missing piece for us in terms of the solutions we offered to that problem. Yeah. 
Man, I mean, there's, so, there's so much in there for it too, because it's interesting that I've seen many of our campaigns will also, even a peer-to-peer campaigns, will want to leverage ticketing within that campaign. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen campaigns that, you know, they, they run um, uh, events for their fundraisers. And I think Polish Man was one of the first I saw that did this. They ran a big kind of campaign wrap and they invited their top fundraisers. It was an incredible incentive for them. It was uh, incredible for like loyalty and retention and advocacy. The, the campaign was successful on the back of the influence of its of its supporters. And they had an event at the end of the fundraiser that celebrated it. And it was a great coming together of that community. And this was, you know, 2017, 18, 19. I'm sure they're still doing it. And I I think more and more that's going to happen is people are going to want to combine a physical event with a virtual fundraiser. I think it's so exciting. What 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 do you feel might be some of the existing solutions that raise this ticketing could actually replace for charities? Yeah, so you have your classic ticketing solutions. Now, the one that everyone's going to know is Eventbrite. Um, and you might also know Humanitix, which is which is doing a great job of uh, adding purpose back into the ticketing space. Yeah. Of course, you have your other big ticketing providers that I think are fairly average, like Ticketex, uh, but that's not really what charities use. Um, I just don't think we should look to them as role models. But Eventbrite and other kind of platforms like it, um, uh, even like I've seen charities accepting um, tickets on their like WordPress website and they've installed a WordPress plugin to, yep. to take those tickets and, and go through that process. And I, um, yeah, that's just not a great experience. Eventbrite's really expensive, firstly, for, for tickets and it doesn't provide any of that branded bespoke experience that you should be offering your supporters. And that's what we, and that's why you shouldn't, uh, that, 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 that's why Raisley needs to exist is because you do need to be building a relationship and a brand relationship and a brand story with each of your supporters. And that's why a donation form should be branded. It's why a peer-to-peer campaign should be branded. Um, and I think it's why a event registration page should also be branded. And so it's really those two pieces. It's let's make sure that all of the, um, the ways someone interacts with my charity builds on the story of impact and uh, the change they're making in the world through their support of me. Yeah. And also let's make sure that charities are keeping as much of that money as possible, because particularly for, for paid events, the, the fees from ticketing platforms, I think are uh, really high and higher than they should be for what the functionality is that they provide. Yeah, enormously. And I think one of the things I've loved with Raisley that we really promote, we always know that there's, you, you, you'll need a few solutions when it comes to actually building a successful campaign, but the more you can actually have in one single place to manage really can be a huge time saver for people and yeah. enable them to not worry about a whole bunch of other sort of things to draw around. Absolutely. I mean, having it all in one place really saves a lot of time. It means you've got that full picture of your data um, in the platform, but it also means if you're integrating Raisley with your CRM, so Salesforce or Raisley's Edge NXT, then you only need to worry about one integration there. You don't need to worry about all of the integrations between all of your different tools. Um, and I think it also means in the future, there's a lot of opportunity for us to really build a big picture of, of who your supporters are and, and optimize and improve and provide insights on that, both for their experience and your experience in the future. There's just like, there's a lot of advantages of having everything all in one place that's able to innovate rapidly uh, and provide those benefits. So, I mean, that's obviously like with, with, with ticketing, we might be able to cover the, the full spectrum of, of online fundraising, um, uh, online and event fundraising, which is, which is really exciting. And I think is, I think is kind of where the industry needs to go in terms of the, the tech that service chari- services charities. Yeah, I love it. Now, it's an interesting, we're seeing our engineering team like r- working so hard on this. Like, yeah. they, are, they are looking at it with a fine tooth and nail. But you know what some of the features are. I know what some of the features are because we've been playing around with this as those, these guys have been building it. Uh, can you tell us what are some of the features that you love and are excited about that, that are in it? Yeah. So fundamentally, we're, we're giving you the ability to, uh, to buy tickets, to sell tickets. Um, and so the things that I'm really excited about are that you actually have some better control to, to list your different ticket prices. One of the things that we see a lot in these nonprofit events is that you need to tier your tickets. So we're adding in the ability to set up early bird, set up kind of last minute, set up pre-sale tickets um, for your events. That's pretty exciting. Yep. Um, 
and promo codes. Of course, you know, you've got different groups of supporters and you need to be able to add discounts um, for those groups of supporters to come to different things. Uh, for example, you might want to, as part of your regular giving product, you might want to allow your regular givers or your giving circle to get more access or get cheaper access or even free access to some of your events. And so we obviously need promo codes to be able to do that. So um, we're just giving you those kind of core pillars that uh, I think everyone needs to, to be able to take these, take these payments online and we're able to offer it for free, like the entirety of Raisley. I know, which is just incredible. We've even got attendee tracking in there. So when yeah. you get to that, and it all functions on our major release that was out a little while ago on recording. So you can do all these great reportings as well within the ticketing space. I've been playing, you've been playing. I, I honestly think this is one of the best releases that we're going to see in Raisley uh, uh, since, since its birth. It's a really exciting one. Um, now, we can't give too much away about when it's going to be released. We know it's going to be released relatively soon. Our team is working really hard on it. And so uh, our, our customers, anyone who's subscribing on YouTube, will be able to see a whole bunch of little things coming up over the next few weeks to give you a bit of a taster. I'm working on a few campaigns at the moment uh, to sort of show it off a little bit, which is has been it's exciting. Part. I didn't know that. That's yeah, great. I'll, I'll <laughs> later on. Um, so we want to give people a taste. There'll be webinars coming up soon and some workshops on how to take that. So we're really looking forward to that. Uh, we're glad that's exciting at the moment, Tom. But there is another thing that's also been really exciting for you that happened a little while ago and it's continuing now. And that's all around Raisley's new four-day work week. And I thought, well, I had you on for ticketing. I'm going to quickly ask you a couple of things. What, what is this four-day work week that we're, we're doing and how did it first come about? What, what, what was your thinking behind it? Yeah, I mean, we're not the first company to trial a four-day work week. We are one of the first companies of our style. And so what is it? Well, it's we are, uh, everyone at Raisley is working four days a week for 100% pay, so for their full salary, um, and for 100% productivity. And so the experiment is that uh, we as a company, a company of wicked smart, um, creative engineering content, um, uh, non-profit expert people whose contribution to this company is our mind and our thinking and our our our, our creative work. Um, that actually, if we had four more focused, more energetic days, that were able to contribute just as much towards our mission as we were in five, and so. We're doing that. So everyone at Raisley is is working about 30 hours. It's 30.4 hours a week. It's been a big change um, yeah. to like a day off a week is a big deal. Um, I know personally, I've, uh, I, I'm someone who has had a fairly unhealthy relationship with work. I, I, this time last year, um, I was working 50 hour weeks regularly. This time the year before, um, at the start of the pandemic, they were like 60, 70 hour weeks. And so to be uh, a company that is a 30 hour week right now, I think is pretty exciting, but I also think that's the future of work. And we're doing a trial. We're doing a three month trial. We're about halfway through as we're recording this. So uh, we've got about another month and a half. It's a bit over a month and a half left to go. Uh, how are you finding it, James? <laughs> how am I finding it? I, I'm finding it amazing. Uh, and it's interesting on my personality. I'm a bit of a sprinter. Like I, I like having a lot of work and getting it done and getting it out. So I think it really suits my personality. But I get to Sunday and I'm like, hang on, this is, I've, I've got another day tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm finding myself picking, picking up a lot of the load with my family, which is which is sort of on a work end is really helpful because I have a bit of a clearer head to hit, hit the work week. Yeah. And that, that's been a joy. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. And I think one of the things I find most curious about it is it seems to align so well with Raisley's vision and values. Could you maybe explore that a little bit for us? Yeah. Well, Raisley's values as a company, we've got three values. They're to amplify others, to be true and humble, and to move swiftly towards excellence. And this allows us to do that like this aligns with those values as a as a as a team and a company but more importantly Raisley's mission is to is to improve the well-being of people and planet by helping charities bring their fundraising ideas to life but that well-being of people and planet and putting purpose before profit has always been the core to our company and i think like the 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 
the opposite to someone like us or to a company like us is that you work people to the bone, you pay them as little as possible, and you just try to extract as much value for your for your shareholders or your owners or something like that. I mean, that's what our kind of our society dictates. It's what public companies are essentially held to, maximizing value for shareholders. And I've always believed, we've always believed, everyone here has believed that there is a, a different and a better way to do business. The 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 business needs to be a force for good in of itself, and its and its output should also be um, something that is good. And we've we've trickled this right through our product. We've got our do no harm license. We say that any open source software or even any software built by Raisley can't be used for harm, and we're really explicit about what that means. But this felt natural. We um, we've always been a company that treats people like adults, that embraces flexibility. And in looking after the well-being of people and planet, we need to look after the well-being of our people. And, um, and so we, we started flexibility and working remotely and working from home back in 2017 before it was cool. And that felt natural to us. And so as we think about, like, like as companies now are celebrating, oh, we're moving to a 100% hybrid model or we're moving to a 100% work from home model, look at us go. We're kind of like, well, we've been doing that for five years. What's next? <laughs> yep. and, I think, and I think this is the next thing for um, people in today's workforce, I think, as a society and to improve the well-being of people in a more and more challenging world. Mm. We need to give people more time for their communities, their friends, their family, and less time at work. And this is, and this is a step in the right direction, I think. Yeah. You said it's a, it's a trial, right? Like we're, it's a trial. we're experimenting this, which is yeah. Which, which is how how's it tracking? Do you think at the moment? And maybe one thing that surprised you. It's tracking well. All of our metrics at the moment are have improved. So productivity is flat, which is good. That's what we expected. Um, so we're actually so we're not seeing any negative impacts in terms of the things that we're doing. We're still working as fast as we have. We're still putting out as much stuff. Um, we're still building features as quickly. Mm. What's improved is everyone's ratings of their work-life balance, how connected they feel with the team, their energy. Um, uh, all of those kind of metrics have improved markedly throughout the trial. Um, so it's going well. Um, and the thing that surprised me was like, Week one was a bit of an adjustment, but by the time we got to week two, and even now, working at Raisley doesn't actually feel that different. Um, it actually feels kind of the same, except that we all have this day off. Um, and I think that's pretty remarkable because we have taken 80% of our company's time and given it back to everyone uh, not 80%, 20%, made it 80%. Oh, yeah. Bad math. Yeah. Yeah. Announcing things on YouTube. <laughs> One day a week. Um, yeah. yeah, we're taking 20% of our time and giving it back. And you just, it just actually, I don't know, for me, I haven't noticed it. Um, and I think that's pretty telling about the theory. I mean, look, it could still fail. We could be back on the channel in, in two months and talking about why it didn't work. But um, so that's far, it's, uh, it's, it's, looking, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, great. Yeah. So um, it is always great to chat. We could chat all day about a hundred things, but it's cool. We've covered ticketing, which and to our customers, you'll find out more sort of coming through. And the four-day work week, which I'm sure we'll have a blog written about it very, very soon. Oh, when I get around to it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Much about... easier to record a video. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But Tom, let me just thank you so much for your time jumping on. Uh, you're a very busy, busy man and uh, it is always valuable to connect. So thanks again. And I'll see you next time at Chats with Raisley. Thanks, James. See you, mate. Bye. Now, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the upcoming features of what's going to be happening with ticketing. There's some really exciting stuff coming out soon. We'll also have a webinar very, very shortly in a workshop as well. If you haven't already liked this video, make sure you like, hit subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment just below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Well, until next time, enjoy fundraising with Raisley.